Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to show you how to work with data forms and apply filters in Excel. A viewer recently wrote to me and said, Danny, I've been using the data form in Excel 2003. Now that I've upgraded to Excel 2007, I can't find the data form. Can you help me? Yes, I can. This is the data form. Notice that we have a snapshot of one individual record. So we see all of the fields for one individual, one employee, one record. It's a terrific way to be able to view the records that apply to one employee or to one product line in a nice form. The other advantage of the data form is you don't draw it yourself, it's drawn for you automatically in Excel. But in Excel 2007, Excel 2010, you must take an extra step of adding it as a command to the Quick Access Toolbar. Here's how. In this setup, I have my Quick Access Toolbar positioned below the ribbon. I want to right mouse click anywhere on the Quick Access Toolbar and choose Customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Over here, choose commands from, there are several filters. The filter that I want commands not to be found anywhere in the ribbon. It's an alphabetical list, so just move down here until we find form. Highlight it, click add, and now it's added to your quick access toolbar. Now, even then, when we've added it, and in Excel 2003, your data form comes up by going to the data menu and choosing form. There are two reasons why the data form would not appear. If I choose a cell that is not in the active data set and I apply the form, I'm going to get an error message. Or if the number of columns for my data set exceeds 32, the form will not appear. So the limit is 32 fields and make sure that you clearly identify the labels for your fields. In this case, I made them bold. All right, let's come back and activate our data form. What I see over here is the nice snapshot, and it's very easy for me to navigate. Now, notice that I had chosen Donna over here, this record, but the data form comes to the first record over here. So I can move down to see the next. I can move back to see the previous. Uh, I can also, if I have one of the cells selected, use the down arrow key, use the up arrow key to sequence through. Also notice that I can apply criteria. So over here, let's just say that I want to view the records for the employees who are in the Chicago branch. So I clicked criteria and now I come over here and in the location field type in Chicago and here's a gotcha step. Make sure that either you click form or hit enter. So now we scroll through and only the records where the location is Chicago appears. So either click form which appears instead of criteria or hit enter. Now if I wish I can apply multiple uh, criteria. Now in this case I want to see employees who work in Chicago who are male. So M is for male and again let's click on the form. Now both conditions must be met so they must be male and work in the Chicago branch and now as I click through there are those employees that meet both of those criteria. They're male and in Chicago. When I wish I can clear the criteria and then enter in some additional criteria. Now using the data form for data entry is not my preferred uh, approach for two reasons number one over here i've applied data validation i want the people who are doing the data input to pick the values from a list so i want to preserve the integrity of the data i want them to select from one of these five departments likewise over here in the location i've applied data validation i want values that appear from this list. And reason number two is that I can't use some of the other keyboard shortcuts. So if you're doing data entry down here and you want to copy an exact value, an easy way to do that is use control apostrophe. And it copies down the exact value, makes an exact value. And when I'm using the data validation, I get to pick from a list. So let's come back here and let's see the downside, in my opinion, of the data form for data entry. So I'm going to click up here, and again, remember if you're in Excel 2003, data menu, choose form. In this case, I'm going to choose new. So the employee number, and you use tab to move forward. Of course, you could use your mouse. Last name, I'll make Johnson, tab, 
I'll make it be John tab and make it mail. If I make a mistake or want to move backwards, use shift tab. So shift tab moves you uh, up, tab moves you down in your form. Now the department, and again, I find this to be a, a, a major weakness. I don't have that drop down list for the validation. And if I click in here and I do want to make sure that I type in the correct value, accounting, Here's another area where you can get into trouble. Instead of hitting tab, you hit enter. Well, now the record has been entered. So either you go back, apply the criteria and edit, or you come back in here into the field. Again, either I pick from the value above, or if it's an exact copy, control apostrophe control apostrophe and over here notice 110 is showing over here well the reason 110 is showing is that I've applied a formula over here so I'll again make a copy and then click tab to move over here and I'll put a department or an extension and there I have my record now the filters are fine with the criteria however they're severely limited we can apply much more robust filters select any cell in your data set go to the data tab of the ribbon and apply filter now you have drop down so for example if I wanted to see only male employees I would deselect the select all make my selection and now I see only those employees who are male you see the records that do not meet or match that filter, don't pass through the filter, are hidden from view. I can restore it by coming back here and choosing Select All. In Excel 2007, and I'm going to go into this in greater detail, we have some really, really robust filters that we can apply. So, for example, over here, this is a date field. When I click over here, in addition to seeing the absolute dates that I've typed in there, I have these date filters. So, in addition to equals before and after, I can see this week, next month, this month, next quarter. They're really terrific. In Excel 2003, you would do a custom filter, and here you could, in this one field, uh, equals and put a value to, or one of these other drop downs. And, and, and it's fine, it's nice, but one of the really great uh, elements that I find in Excel 2007 and Excel 2010 are these date filters, the text filters, and, and, and the other filters that you have in there. So, there you've seen a brief introduction to how you can use the data form. Again, remember that what we want to do is we want to add it as a command in the, uh, to the Quick Access Toolbar in Excel 2007. Make sure that one cell is selected and the data form appears for us automatically. So there's a great tip that you can use in Excel and I'll look for you in the next lesson.